Distance the fault measurements allow engineers to easily debug connectivity issues that cannot be seen from visual inspection. Using an inverse Fourier transform methodology, the spectrum analyzer calculates the distance to the source of the signal's reflection. Since we already know that we want our cable here to go the full span of our spectrum analyzer, I've left the instrument in full span mode just to give us the largest area of frequency that we can look at. Then the other thing I've gone ahead and done is I've already set our stop distance to 5 feet and I've set our units to feet. Um, additionally, I've gone through and calibrated the instrument for our distance to fault measurement. So at this point, we should be able to take a clean distance to fault measurement up here on the top. And then down below, we're going to see our log base um, magnitude and frequency response. So in order to take distance to fault measurements, the easiest way is to go into our peak menu and then our marker. And we can see our distance to the end of our cable should be 1.9 five feet, which is 23.4 inches. So when I go ahead and measure our cable here from the start of our cable around to the front of it, we'll see that our reflection point is a little, little shy of 23.5, so it's at 23.4 inches.